Amen, amen, amen. You know, I, when Pastor Steve sings that yearn, it just gives us a yearning to just to know Jesus more, a yearning to love him more, a yearning to just show his, his, his glory all over the place. It, it makes me want to just get up and just, I have a yearning to just run around the place and just, just love on Jesus. Thank you, Pastor. I, I am so excited. To, doesn't these things do this to you, Pat? I'm here with Pat, the executive director of Wells for Wellness, Pat Harris, and uh, I know you're a huge TVN supporter. Songs like that, doesn't it just give you a yearning to just say glory to God? It does, it does. Oh, my goodness. So, Pat, I know that Wells for Wellness is, uh, is, is huge with you. Uh, how did Isaiah 35 speak to your heart concerning Wells for Wellness? Well, I had had an opportunity to go to Cambodia, and I had a friend that had, had a sister that didn't have water. She was separated from her sister for 30 years. Mm. So she said to me, would you help me? put wells in and all of a sudden my ears heard my voice say sure I'll help I'm like oh okay how am I going to do that well anyway I was reading the word and Isaiah 35 came to um, me and it um, we put five wells in Cambodia and then my friends came to me and asked me if I would put wells in Niger Africa it's a desert and Isaiah 35 says that the desert will bloom and so the Lord just spoke to me, and it's a desert. Sahara Desert is um, 114 degrees on a normal day. And they live under trees still. And it's the seventh poorest country in the world. Uh, like um, India is 50, um, uh, Haiti's 22. I mean, it's a very poor country. So um, my friends asked me, and I said, well, I felt like I got confirmation. And, and it was for Lebanon, but, you know, that desert bloomed, and I feel that um, Niger will bloom one day. Mm -mm -mm. Tell us a little bit about your partnering with Faith for All Nations. All right. Um, when we first started, we're just a little global, I mean, a local organization with a global effect. And so I just started um, praying and asking the Lord to send me people. Well, I ended up finding a person in Texas that were thinking the same <laughs> thing wow. about Niger. Mm. So they went together and they bought a, a drilling rig. And we have purchased a uh, compressor, and you need a compressor, a big compressor. Uh, uh, we had to get a rebuilt one, and it had to. It took a while to get one because um, you can't have the computers; they'll melt. And oh we had to goodness. have a compressor that the uh, men in the village can learn to run these and drill the wells. We don't want the wells to be our wells; we want them to be their wells, so that they can repair them, and they don't have to wait six months for us to get back over there to fix right. it. They can fix it, because once you get water in a village their whole life changes. The kids no longer have to walk five miles to get water from a cow that's, I mean, from a pond that a cow has drank from. Mm -hmm. And they, we, wa um, we put the wells in schools first. Mm -hmm. And so that way the kids can go to school and bring back water from school. Wow. The women can wow. um, have a garden. Wow. They can uh, they can have it, um, um, like crafts. And it's just amazing what one well does. And then the men put the wells in, so it changes wow. the whole lifestyle. Wow. Wow. And they build their own bricks. So when you have to uh, bring water to build a brick, to, they live under trees, a Ooh. lot of them do. Ooh. So it's a whole lifestyle that we have no clue. Well, Pat, certainly thank you for coming on TVN and talking today here at WMWC. You know, it is, it is organizations like what Pat is doing that we get to be a part of here in the Quad Cities. And it's more of these wonderful ministries and, that, are, that are serving Jesus just the way they are, that are giving and letting the Lord take place, taking that one step forward and letting God take two and three and four and five. So make sure that you're taking an opportunity to go to those phones and call 309-273-1970 or 1-888, glory to God, 731-1000. We would love to partner with you. You know, it's taking your hand and my hand and another hand and Pat's hand. Come on up here, Pat. And just taking our hands together, you know what? And joining hands around the world for Jesus. We're here in Moline, but you in front of your TVs, wherever you are, we're joining together to say, yes, Jesus, we will answer the call and we will give and watch you go to work. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Let's look at this video. In 1973, God spoke to Paul and Jan Crouch to start a television ministry. Within months, God miraculously provided a tiny station in Southern California and launched the Trinity Broadcasting Network. Word of this new television ministry began to spread all over Southern California, and people began to tune in to see what God was doing. 
Paul and Jan prayed and rejoiced as TBN's precious partners raised the down payment for Channel 40 and to purchase new television equipment. They celebrated with victory when the FCC granted the first license for Trinity Broadcasting Network. We all have known from the beginning that it's not Paul and Jan, it's this great, big, beautiful family that God has raised up. The call that God placed on Paul and Jan Crouch in 1973 was to fulfill the Great Commission. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. But how can this young ministry go beyond Southern California to reach the world? In 1975, that question would be answered one night in a vision. In my spirit, the question cried out to God, God, what is it? What is it? God spoke as clearly into my spirit as I've ever heard his voice. And he spoke one resounding, ringing word, satellite. Satellite broadcasting was a huge step forward for TBN and doubled the budget overnight. Yet in spite of the cost, Satellite made it possible for TBN to reach a viewing audience in cities throughout the United States. As time went by, more satellites were added to cover key continents and cities of the world. Today, there are 80 plus satellite footprints transmitting the gospel worldwide. Thanks to our partners, every continent on planet Earth is now covered with a powerful satellite signal carrying Christian broadcasting 24 hours a day. To light up the world with the light of the world. TBN is the most watched faith channel in the United States and features the best in inspirational music, movies, reality, health, and ministry programming. If God can use me, just imagine what He can do in your life. Through the years, God has provided TBN with many opportunities. And with the move to digital and multicast broadcasting, our vision has enlarged to not only build new stations, but to create entire new networks, covering the globe with a complete family of networks. With multicasting, viewers can watch the Church Channel, highlighting great worship services from around the world. Juice TV, a network geared for younger adults. Smile of a Child, designed just for our youngest viewers. In Lasse, USA, a Spanish language network. And TVN airing inspiring programming to viewers. All available free of charge over the air. Sometimes you think, well, I'm just a technician. I'm just a business person. I'm just a coach. I'm just a student. You're not just anything. You're a child of the Most High God. God's got a purpose. He's got a destiny. Now, with the addition of ITBN and TBN Mobile, you can get TBN's family of networks any place. And watch your favorite TBN programs anytime. He said, I want you to stop and take a minute. And I want you to release my people in the spirit for a change. Select programs from TBN's family of networks. Give God a praise. ITBN is available over the internet, on your computer, smartphone, mobile device, and television. Giving viewers the ability to watch what they want to watch when they want to watch it. We're watching TV in Russia, and we are in China. Take a look, baby. Look at that. Today, TBN can be seen on cable systems, satellite dishes, computers, smartphones, and tablets. In virtually every home, hut, and tent on planet Earth. Jesus commanded us to take the gospel into all the world. TBN is using the powerful tool of television to do just that broadcasting 24 hours a day with innovative, creative, soul-winning programs. Help TBN continue the goal of fulfilling the Great Commission. Call now and partner with us as we reach the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's how we reach the world for Jesus Christ all around the world, and you can be a part of that. We're here today with Twyla Belk from Gotta Tell Somebody, Inc. in Bettendorf, Iowa. You're a writer, you're a speaker, you're a teacher. 
Gotta tell somebody, girl. Tell us about that. Yes, I'm the gotta tell somebody gal. Acts 420 describes me well. It says, for we cannot stop speaking. <laughs> <laughs> and then it goes on to say about the things we have seen and heard. And I get so excited about the things I've seen God do mm. and heard him do and experienced God do that I just gotta tell somebody. Mm. I tell people it's kind of like having gas bubbles. If you don't get it out, <laughs> it'll hurt you. Are you allowed to say that on TV? You oh, just I don't did. Know. I, I just did. We're live. <laughs> <laughs> so I love bragging on God. It's my favorite thing to do. That's a great thing. We all should have an opportunity to brag on Jesus. He gives it to us. That spirit That's inside right. us is That's alive. That's right. It and, is. And, the same know, spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is alive in us. Amen. Amen. So and uh, he does somebody. stuff. You know, That's I like to say that. That's really profound. God does stuff. But he does. He answers prayer. He uh, His timing is perfect. He he's, takes care of the big things in our lives, the small things in our lives. Nothing is out of balance for God. Oh, my goodness. And so when you talk about got to tell somebody because it's just burning in your spirit, it reminds me of Pastor Steve Harmon when he sang that song, Yearning. And yes. so there's a yearning in you to tell people about there, Jesus. And you're a writer, is. you're a speaker. What yes. about some of your writings? Well, my latest project uh, is called Raindrops from Heaven. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it's gentle reminders of God's power, presence, and purpose. And so it's a 366-day book, and I get to brag on God, 366 days. Days. That's one day every, every day. Got to tell and somebody. I got to tell somebody, <laughs> and it is really fun. And, you know, and when you tell somebody, you brag on God, it not only helps you remember who he is and how big he is so you can trust him for today and tomorrow, but it, it encourages other people, gives them hope, and, you know, it shines a light on God, and that's why we were created in the first place. So what, what's a leaving comment you want to leave with your audience it's about your books, that's something that stands out from you? that you just want to leave it something. If you just could grab my book and look through it, here's one thing in it I want you to say. Well, I, regardless of whether you read the book or what, I want you to know that God is a big God and he can be trusted with anything in your life. And that's the most important thing for you to know. You know, we are in a world that seems to be without hope, but he is our hope and he is all we need. So Amen. that's that's my closing message is to remember that he's a big God. Can we brag on him together? We will. Can we Amen. brag on Jesus together? <laughs> Quad Cities, it. you can be a part of this. We want you to be a part of this. Go to those phones and call 309-273-1970 or 1-888-731-1000. And we can brag on Jesus together because we got to tell somebody. That's right. We've got Toy Allen doing <laughs> another wonderful selection for us over there. Go ahead and tell somebody, Toy. There's no pain Jesus can't feel There is no hurt that he cannot heal going through remember God all he wants to do is use you for the battle it's not yours it's the Lord there's no sadness Jesus going through remember God all he wants to do is use you 
I'm so excited sitting here, Casey. The battle's not ours. Isn't it good to know the Lord's got it, man? The Praise Lord has got it. Praise the Lord. Oh, my goodness. I'm here with Headmaster at Morningstar Academy in Bettendorf 5. I'm feeling good in here. And I know you're a huge TVN supporter. I am so grateful for you to be here. Tell us a little bit about Morningstar. Yeah, Morningstar is a classical Christian school serving students in preschool through 12th grade. Mm -hmm. uh, we exist because we believe one of the greatest challenges that the church faces is raising up the next generation of Christians. Mm -hmm. And so we exist um, kind of as a bridesmaid to mm -hmm. the bride, Christ's church. Um, we serve the church and Christian families send their students to Morningstar mm -hmm. in order to get a Christian education for their children. Oh, my goodness. So how about how did you get into education? It's kind of an irony that I'm in this role <laughs> at Morningstar. In fact, I've since high school graduation, if you would have told me that I would spend the next 15 or 16 years in a school, I would have said you were crazy. But that's what <laughs> happened. Um, I went to college, and I, I loved what I was learning. And I wondered why my K-12 through experience was not exciting, was not interesting to me. Um, and I, I stumbled into this model of education, and, and that's, that's how I got into it. Oh, my goodness. And see, and that is so great. It is TVN's things like that are happening right here. You would have never known you were going to be that path, that part of your journey, to be here one day talking about Morningstar Academy on TVN. That's right. In Moline, Illinois. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> what is it, the one thing that makes Morningstar the most unique from the other educational facilities at schools? We follow, I mentioned we're a classical school. Mm -hmm. And so we follow a, a method of education that's very old, thousands of years old. And I think so many educational institutions are kind of carried away by trend after trend. Mm -hmm. And we, we're doing what's, what's been time tested, that has stood the test of time. So do you find any pushback from the parents? You know, you talk about it's classical education. Are there any pushback? Uh, when they're coming in and, and this is what the curriculum is, this is what is set for them? No, I think most parents are, are happy. That they're they embracing have, they it. Have, I think a lot of parents actually kind of came away feeling as though their maybe their K-12 through experience didn't quite deliver yeah. in the way that they wanted it to. And so they appreciate the distinctiveness yeah. of the education, and they, 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 they kind of see the benefits and the fruits of it. 
and their students. I love that. I, I love education myself. I, I, I was big into that. And so what, what about TBN and the opportunities that being a local station here, it's brand new, and the opportunities that it has to reach the world for Jesus, how has that helped maybe Morningstar? Well, we've benefited in the fact that we've, <laughs> we've, we've gained a voice Amen. through TBN. Amen. And you've given lots of ministries and, and just organizations in the community a voice. And I think there's there's no shortage of ideas and perspectives, and there's a growing number of channels through which to get your message out there. Mm -hmm. And it's mm -hmm. important that TBN provides a Christian voice um, on television. And so that's what I think is the great benefit. And we, we've appreciated the opportunities that we've been given to kind of share our story through TBN. And we certainly appreciate that. These are the types of things that we here at TBN want to see more of you as our audience. We want to see you uh, supporting TBN so that we can bring educational experiences here. We can bring singing here. We can bring preaching here. This is a great opportunity for you here in the Quad Cities to make these type of things happen. We need your help. We need you to partner with us here at WMWC in Moline, Illinois, right here, making great things happen for the Lord and to do it one gift at a time. Won't you please help us? Call 309-273-1970 or call us at 188-731-1000 and let us join together and share the gospel to the world. Amen. Let's enjoy some more songs from Pastor Steve Harmon. trust in you 
Amen, Pastor Steve. You know, he said Isaiah in there. You know, he walks with us through the fire. He doesn't just leave you there. You know, that's the great thing. He heals all of our diseases. Glory to God. It is a great thing. I'm telling you, this is the type of talent we have in the quad cities. We want to share. It's about serving Jesus. That's all it is. Loving on Jesus one person at a time, locking arms in ours. And speaking about loving on Jesus, I'm here with a great pastor friend of mine, Pastor Corey C. Parker from Life Church in Davenport, Iowa. Man, I'm telling you, I'm so excited to sit here because you know, you look like this guy. Give him a hand. I I'm grateful sitting here with you, but boy, you showed him my me of another friend of mine looks just like you there i tell you boy you look like jared My goodness. you know what what tragedies i know you've had some tragedies over mm. your time but uh you've experienced some that have tested your faith yeah you know yeah yeah, yeah. well um in 2006 um uh i was i had just spoken to my mother Mm -hmm. uh, my mother was not big on words, and she never really said that she loved us, but she showed us. Mm -hmm. uh, but the last time I saw my mother in 2006 was on a Sunday night after I left Sunday evening worship. And she hugged me, and she said, I love you. Mm -hmm. And then I got the call the next day at work that she had passed away in her sleep. Mm -hmm. And it was the most damaging time in my life, and it tested everything that I thought I knew about God. And it showed me uh, things about God that... I hadn't seen yet. I haven't seen that side of God, that side of the strength of God. Mm -hmm. And in that, in that tragedy, I learned that everything that I have, time, talent, and substance, that I uh, sow, even in tragedy, mm -hmm. give, even when it hurts, mm -hmm. even when you feel like you have nothing to give. I've learned what it is to be blessed by giving when it feels like you have nothing. So tragedy taught me, really, the importance of sowing. So you see, I, I, I can relate to that. So the Lord is just getting our attention, let me know if we trust in him. Mm -hmm. If we mm -hmm. give and mm -hmm. let him just do the work, watch what he does. Yes, sir. Oh, my goodness. Yes, I just, I, 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 that's something you were able to at least say, uh, I love you to your mother. Yes. So that's wonderful. Yes. What do you say to a person that may have nothing to sow, but still has a heart to contribute to the kingdom? When you have nothing to sow, you have everything to sow. Mm. What I mean by that, you might not have monetary means yes. to sow, but you have time and you have talent. Mm. You can do whatever you can do. You can scrub a toilet. See, this? I have, there's a lot of young Preach. preachers that I know Preach. that they don't want to talk about the scrubbing of the toilets, the mm. cutting of the grass, mm -hmm. the mopping of the floor. Mm -hmm. That's service. That's Ooh. sowing. Serving. So you can serve. So you, mm. can, so you can serve. And I've learned. And even after my mother, <laughs> after my mother passed away here just in February, uh, tragically, the Lord took my father home. Mm -hmm. So I've learned, I've learned, I've learned, even with that, when it seems like your legs are kicked out from underneath you, I've learned that when I feel like I have nothing, I have everything. Mm -hmm. I have Christ, and I can serve the way he served. If he can wash feet, 
certainly I can wash feet. If he can give, if he can sow, certainly I can. So I do what I can with what I have. Mm. I, uh, it reminds me of that song Pastor just sang, talks about Jesus is all we need. That's all. He's all we need. We don't need to run to our neighbor. That's right. We don't need to run to down the street or get on the phone to our best buddy. Jesus yes. is who we need. Yes, sir. Yes, and, sir. And, and his strength in, the, in these times of tragedy, you know, he's saying, just trust me. Yes. Just trust me. Just trust me. That is so wonderful, you know. And, and, and I want you as a, as a viewing audience to know that that's what Jesus wants for us. He wants you to trust in him. And we can bring pastors and, and musicians and areas to this uh, uh, and, and community leaders to this area. We do it through TBN. And here we've got a foundation at WMWC to make this happen. How has TBN been a tool or resource for you? TBN yes. has been such a blessing because um, some, some of the times when I wasn't able to get to a, uh, uh, a church building, mm -hmm. I wasn't able, sometimes, and to be honest, and, and I really believe in being transparent and being real concerning ministry, and sometimes when I didn't feel like getting to the church mm -hmm. building, mm -hmm. when I didn't have that kind of strength, mm -hmm. I could turn on the television and there was a word that spoke to me through the television, mm -hmm. through the auspices of TBN, mm -hmm. and I've been blessed because of that. And there's times that I got to the church building because of a word that was spoken to me through TBN, mm -hmm. and it taught me and it encouraged me. And even uh, to receive a word that was directly affecting my life that these people don't know who I am mm -hmm. but because it's there mm -hmm. it spoke to me mm -hmm. and it really it literally in a, at a point it really saved my life because it kept me going when I didn't feel like going on well pastor I'm feeling it right now and I feel it ready to come <laughs> out of you I just I feel the spirit alive wanting to say something wanting to, to make it happen and to share with our viewers would you give us a word I know you brought something for us today to okay. share can you do that with us yeah absolutely sir. amen let's let's welcome pastor God bless you all, and I just want to speak um, a word uh, into uh, your lives rather quickly because um, as we talk about sowing, as we talk about giving, I can't talk about anything that I do not know myself. And I've learned that there are scriptures that I've learned even as a child in Sunday school that are really directly applicable to my life now, even in a greater meaning because of what I've experienced in my life, losses of parents, losses of jobs, uh, not uh, knowing where the next time or the next meal is going to come from, being in those situations, but yet serving God and serving God and have the right perspective in, in serving God. In St. Luke chapter, uh, uh, chapter number six, St. Luke chapter number six, verse 38, it's very, very, very plain when it says, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over, shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that ye meet withal, it shall be measured to you again. When I look at that give, that's a releasing of something from my hand to another. Uh, giving is something that you release from your hand to another. It's something that you relinquish, that you release to somebody else. You can't give anything if you don't have anything. Mm. You have to be able to release it. It's not giving until you release it. And I've learned that I've been blessed on my release, when I've been able to release things and, and knowing that what I do have, what I think I possess, really I don't possess, everything belongs to God anyway. So I'm giving something that was given to me. I have to release it. It says, give and it shall be given unto you. When you release, those others will release into your life. Things that you don't even see and places that you don't, couldn't even imagine or you could even fathom, God will uh, allow people to release into your life. Good measure. Pressed down, shaken together, running over. When we learn how to release, when we learn how to release, I've learned, I've learned in my release that release in my life could not have happened unless death happened first. Death had to happen first in order for me to uh, find a release in my life. When I uh, experienced loss of my mother and then uh, I experienced loss of a very prominent job uh, that, I was, uh, that I was so uh, proud of and so anxious to have, but lost it and then lost my father. In all of those, God blessed me even more, but I never would have seen the miracle of God unless there was death first. And we have to die to ourselves when we give, knowing that it's not all about us. It's not all about us and our agenda and 
and our plans, but all of our doing and all of our sowing is according to the plan of God. So we have to release. There has to be death first. We have to die to self first. Given it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. Pressed down, first of all, uh, represents concentration. When you press something down, whatever elements are in it are pressed down, and they begin to become concentrated. And uh, even with explosive, they become more powerful the more you press them down. So when we give, God is giving back into our lives, but it's a pressed down blessing. It's pressed down because it's powerful. It's potent. God is making something explosive in our lives because he's pressing down the blessing and he's pressing it down so he can fill more in. And the more that he fills in, the more he presses down, the more explosive that it becomes. Good measure, pressed down, and then he shakes it together. Once, it's, once an explosive is pressed down and everything is fitting into the container in which it fits, then you shake it up. Once you shake it, there's a greater concentration. Some things are not agitated until you shake it. Some things cannot, you can't see the power of it until you shake it. That's why a lot of us have experienced shaking in our life. We've experienced shakings in our family, shakings on our jobs, shakings in our personal lives, shaking in every part or area of our life. But God is shaking us so that we can be agitated in our spirit so that that thing that he put inside of us can be shaken up so they can see the real power of what's on the inside of us. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and then running over. And not only does God put things inside of us and pack them, packs it down, and he stomps it down, and he stomps it down, and stomps it down so we can get a concentration, then he shakes it up so it can become agitated, but then after it gets pressed down and then it gets shaken together, then there is a running over. Then the explosion happens. Then the explosion happens. God never puts anything on the inside of you to keep it inside of you, but he puts it on the inside of you so that it can run over and explode into somebody else's life. God gives us something in our lives. He puts it there not to be selfish, not to be self-centered, not to be egotistical, but he puts it in our lives so that we can be a blessing to somebody else. When God puts something in you, you have to know it's powerful. You have to know it's explosive, but it is there to bless somebody else. It is there to do something else in somebody else's life. I was blessed. I was blessed because I learned that what was in me could not stay in me. What was in me was not just for me. What was in me was not just for the place that I was, but it was to run over into somebody else's life. And I just want to encourage somebody today, when you think you have nothing, when you think you don't have anything to give, you have everything to give. I can give you my time and my time can run over and bless somebody else. Your smile can bless somebody else. Your hug can bless somebody else. Your good, kind words can bless somebody else. You have something to give. Never feel inferior. Never feel inadequate if you feel that you don't have what somebody else has to give. What God put on the inside of you is just as powerful as if you had a Swiss bank account with $10 million in it. God, when he puts something inside of you, it it's powerful and it's adequate to get the job done. Never feel inferior and never take down to somebody else because you feel you don't have what they have. Stop looking on the things of others and look what God has put on the inside of you. You are powerful because he's pressing it down. He's shaking it together. And now it's running over. It's running over. It's running over. And running over, when, you, when something spills over, and I just did this this morning because I have a Keurig uh, that my wife blessed me with uh, that has one cup. And uh, you have to pour the water in it, then put the cup underneath it so that the cup can catch what you put on the inside of it. Once it goes through the filter, once it goes through the, the K cup, and, and it filters coffee down into your cup. And so I, 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 I walked away, but when I got back, I recognized that I did not put my cup under the Keurig, I left it in the sink. So the, so the coffee was running into the bottom, the basin of the Keurig, and it was running over. It was running over, it was running over. What God puts on the inside of us, he doesn't want it to be contained in a cup. He wants it to run over into other areas, into other churches, into other ethnicities and other communities. He wants it to run over. That's the blessing of TBN because it reaches everybody where they are. It's not just for one sect of people, but it's for everybody. It's to run over and touch everybody. So what you have, you can bless somebody. Yes. Press down, shaking together and running over. The scripture, what it says next is extremely powerful. It says, shall men give into your bosom? When it runs over, it touches somebody. And when it blesses somebody, it blesses them so they can sow back into you everything you gave out. When you allow what God has put on the inside of you to flow out and to bless others, 
It will touch them in such a point, in such a place. You don't even recognize the people that you've touched with the things that are inside of you. But God will cause men to come that you've never met before that will come into your life and will bless you and give into your bosom. In that, when it talks about bosom, it was, a, it was literally a strap that was worn around uh, people that would carry babies. They would carry babies or it would carry uh, pots or materials. He said, shall men come up and they'll give into your bosom. The thing that's designed to carry things for ministry, God's going to call other men to come and bless you and give you the tools that you need. All because you gave what was on the inside of you. All because you sowed. All because you put that... Unless a seed is put into the ground, it's of no effect. It's just a seed. But when you put it in the ground, that's when God does the work. And you begin to see the power of the seed. And what was inside the seed is greater than the seed itself. The mustard seed, the mustard seed looks minuscule. It doesn't look like it's good for anything. But when you put the mustard seed in the ground, you see a great tree. You have to understand what you think is on the inside of you. You think it's minuscule. You think it doesn't amount to anything. It can't bless anybody. It, it, it doesn't measure up to T.D. Jakes. It doesn't measure up to Paula White. Who actually cares? God wants to use what's on the inside of you. And if you have mustard seed on the inside of you, you can speak to the mountain and the mountain mountain will be moved because what's inside of you, even in mustard seed capacity, is strong enough to shake mountains, strong enough to do the things that God has to do. Shall that cause men to give unto your bosom? Men that you've never met before will come up and bless you. People will come up and bless you because of what's on the inside of you. For with the same measure that ye meet, <laughs> with though it shall be measured to you again. The same measure that you measure, the same thing that you've done is going to be measured back to you. It's coming back to you. Everything that you poured out, the years that you poured out, the tears that you poured out, it's coming back to you. Even when you feel nobody's paying attention to you, even when you feel that you've done all you can and nobody's concerned about you, they don't see what you do behind the scenes. They don't see the pain that you've endured. They don't see the countless nights and the sleepless nights that you've spent trying to perfect your craft. They've never seen all of the things getting up late in the midnight hour to see about somebody else. They've never, they haven't seen the homework that you've had to do, the game planning that you've had to do night after night after night. And when everybody else is sleeping comfortable, you're struggling trying to get things. They don't see the things that you've sown. But the one thing that I do know, God sees everything. And he sees what we've sown. They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. So keep sowing your tears. Keep sowing in your pain. Keep sowing even in the midst of tragedy. Keep sowing. Keep giving. You can't afford to stop giving. Keep giving. And when you give, you'll find that God will bless you. And he'll cause men from some of anywhere to come. And there'll be a blessing to you. You'll find that your biggest miracle is tied up in the way you give. You'll find <laughs> that whatever you thought was coming back to you, God's going to give it right back to you plus some. Whatever you measured out to bless somebody else, God's going to measure it out to bless you. Even though you've been selfless, you've measured it out. God's measuring it back. Nobody can measure better than God. God's measurement system is the most impeccable measurement system that man has ever known. When he measures it back, his, his multi, he, he works in multiplication. So whatever we measure it out, God likes to double. <laughs> and he likes to give it back to you more than what you gave out. Yeah. Just ask Job. He lost some stuff, but he kept on giving. And even in the midst of that, in tragedy, God gave him more than what he had before. Yeah. I'm here to encourage you. Being a blessing is a privilege. Being a blessing is a wonderful thing. Give. Give. Whatever you have, give. Don't think it's not enough. One dollar, five, whatever it is, give. This is an amazing thing. TBN is an amazing thing. Give. God will bless you for your gift.
Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Pastor, you know, you talked about giving and, 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 I, and you talked about the mustard seed, you know, and, and I believe there's somebody out there that's saying, you know what? We've got $10, but that's nothing looking at the set and looking at the three and a half million dollars that you gave. But let me tell you something, that mustard seed grows over 15 feet high. And let me tell you, it's just the tiniest of the tiniest. So your gift is important. Your gift is valuable. Give and watch what the Lord can do. I'm getting fired up in here, Pastor, because you know it is what it is. Yes, God. God is going to do some great things here in the Quad Cities. When you're joining hands and you're locking with one another, this is you and me and pastor and all around the world doing God's things. And I'm telling you, this is the time that you can do it. Go to your phones and call 309-273-1970, 888-731-1000, and watch what the Lord's going to do here in the Quad Cities. It's here in Moline right now, but it's going all out around the world, all around the nations. Listen, our local cost. You know, this is alone. This Saturday isn't even done yet. But with your help, God is going to do some amazing things. We need you to partner with one another to say that, listen, this is our station here in the Quad Cities. This is us, WMWC. We're going to make it happen for Jesus. And you can walk around with your head held high for Jesus. You can walk around with your chest stuck up for Jesus. You can walk around with a little bit of pep in your step for Jesus because we're doing something new here. Praise the Lord. Give, and it'll be given to you. Press down, shake it, multiply it, triplicate it, running over. Yes, Glory to God. Let it run over in you today. Thank you for what you're doing. God's got a great thing happening right here. Watch this video. You were never meant to carry the burdens you bear. You no longer have to live with guilt or shame. God is waiting for you and he wants to set you free. Christ came to give you an abundant life. At the Holy Land Experience in Orlando, Florida, the power of God is transforming lives. Healings, baptisms of the Holy Spirit, salvations, and forgiveness are happening in record numbers. So come, receive your miracle. God is waiting for you. As a way of saying thanks for supporting this special program, we would like to see this amazing book, Hello World. It's the story of how God took one tiny station in Southern California and turned it into a worldwide family of networks. To receive your copy, send your gift to P.O. Box A, Santa Ana, California, 92711, or give online at tbn.org. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Listen, when you call in today with your gift, you're going to get this holy hello world, hello world by Dr. Paul Crouch. And I love this because it says a personal letter to the body of Christ. We are the body of Christ. And this is a personal letter about the TVN story that we want you to partner with us so that when we talk about it, we're talking about family. Yeah, this is the family of God. We have some current. Uh, listen, right now we're getting about five thousand dollars a month from you, our wonderful supporters from local donors, but operating costs alone here at WMWC is 10 times that amount. And when we look at you, listen, monthly operating is, is, is about $5,000 just for the electric, to put it in perspective for you. We need more than that. The set you see is still not even completed. That's about $60,000. We can't do that alone, but you know what? Your $10 with your $20, your $20 with your $2,000, your $2,000 with a, your $10,000 makes it happen by faith. Everybody say it, by faith. By faith, TBN and our loving partners have invested three and a half million dollars here in the Quad Cities. This wonderful, that's right. <coughs> it is time here in the Quad Cities in Moline, Illinois, WMWC, station 53-1, TBN is 53-2, 53-3 is your juice for the young people. They've got something for everybody. We are here to bless you. And we need you to partner with us. We can do it, Quad Cities, if we join arms. We are a family. Listen, think about what you're doing. When you flip that channel on, there's all kinds of things you can watch. But you choose to watch TBN. Call us today, 309-273-1970, 888-731-1000. You've heard some wonderful pastors. 
Woo, I'm still feeling that anointing. Some wonderful musicians, some speakers. Listen, you've heard some ministries. This is just a taste of what's going on here in the Quad Cities, and we need your help to keep this going. Amen? We need your help to be the arms and legs of Jesus. And listen, speaking of those wonderful musicians, let's just let's thank the Lord with Tori Allen. Tori Allen, God bless you. Tragedies are commonplace. All kinds of diseases, people are slipping away. Economies down, people can't get enough pay. But as for me, all I can say is thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. Yeah, yes, yeah. Folks without homes, living out in the streets, and drug habits, some say they just can't beat. Muggers and robbers, no place seems to be safe, but you've been my protection every step of the way, and I want to say thank you, Lord, for Using me, Lord, yes, for using me, Lord, and I want to say. 
I may not be a singer, but I can say, thank you, Lord. I can say, thank you, Jesus. I can say, thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning and bringing us here in this place today to serve you, to reach out to one another in strength and in faith. I can, can say, listen, I can't sing, but I can praise his name. This praise will continually be in my mouth all the time. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Toy. Glory to God. We just want to say thank you, Lord Jesus. It's something about that. And I want to thank each of you that are giving continuously. We want you to give. Continue to go to the phones. Call us at 309-273-1970, 888-731-1000. Keep on giving. Listen, if you go to the grocery store and your bill is $115 and you try to give them $110, you're not not going to walk out of there with your groceries because you need that extra five dollars. There's somebody out there that's saying my five dollars is not going to make a difference, but it is. Somebody's out there saying my ten dollars is not going to make a difference, but it is. And when someone sees the faith of your five dollars and the faith of your ten dollars here at WMWC, somebody's going to say I've got a five thousand dollar check. Somebody's going to say I've got a fifty thousand dollar check and they're going to write it because of the faith that you step forward. I'm telling you, watch. You take one step and watch what God does. I'm telling you, Toy Allen, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We're going to do this for you, Jesus. Thank God for each and every one of you coming here to WMWC in Moline, Illinois. Watch. Listen, give and watch what the Lord does. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, viewers. Thank you, Toy. Amen. Yes. All you've done for me. Yeah, yes. I thank you, Lord. Oh, I thank you, Lord. Come on. Folks without homes, living out in the streets, and drug habits, some say they just can't feed. Muggers and robbers, no place seems to be safe. But you've been protection every step of the way. Thank you, Lord, for all you done for me. Yeah, 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 yes, it could have been me. I don't with no food or no
Thank you, everybody. Thank all of our guests today. I want to thank you. Praise the Lord for what you're doing here at WMWC. We thank all of our singers, all of our pastors. Glory, hallelujah. All of our community uh, ministries. We want to just thank you and keep on keeping on for WMWC, for TVA, the number one station in the world, Christian station. Thank you, Jesus. Give it up for Jesus one time. Hallelujah. Woo! Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. I want to thank you for your love. Yeah. Thank you for your power. Thank you for protection. for your love. I thank you for your power. I thank you for protection, Lord, every hour. Oh, thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you,